Are you familiar with situations like that? Dude, look what I bought today. It's a panoramic camera. Oh, cool. You found wide looks? Wait, what? No, look at this. You probably understand that panoramic mode in 35mm cameras that just crops a frame is not actually a panorama, but what camera produces real panorama shots? Let's find out. I think you want to see this. Where is she? Dead ahead, 5,000 meters. 500 meters, sir, we're getting too close. Where is it? The scope is lit, it's right in front of us. 1,000 meters. Where's my doctor? Fall! Yeah, here it is, Horizon 202, son of Horizon Camera and grandson of FT, first Soviet panoramic camera that was developed by famous gun designer Fyodor Tokarev. Futuristic, different from typical SLR and rangefinder cameras looking weirdo, this camera provides unique opportunities for creative shots and unusual representation of surrounding reality. Quick dive into technical aspects. Camera produces 21 images with 24 to 58 mm size frame. Anastigmata and silence with 2.8 to 60 aperture inserted into a drum that rotates on 120 degrees. Spooky sounds included. Shutter speeds from half a second up to 250 of a second. The lens aperture and shutter speeds may be changed just then the shutter is cocked. The switch on the left of the body selects between fast and slow speeds of the shutter. You wonder matches the aspect ratio by 95% and on top of it you got water pass that help shoot with correct horizon line. Camera made of plastic which does not inspire confidence, but who cares. Let's see what's under the hood of this monster. Film loading process is a bit tricky. I think old stocks with tin and fragile film base can break easily. Ok, so we load the camera, we are sober, determined to shoot some rolls. Let's start. Thank you. 
Here I still don't know that soon film will break while winding up and I'll have to throw it away, so there will not be shots from it. I know that it looks painful and it feels the same, but I don't have opportunity to continue shooting other way.
Well, you saw how it works and beautiful images that this camera produces. I'd like to add few nuances that I discovered while shooting with this camera. Despite the fact that I bought my camera brand new, the drum of moving lens doesn't work very stable at some shutter speeds and blurs the edges of the frames. I have seen several reports of this problem and all I can say is try to shoot at more stable shutter speeds. Also, it should be noted that camera weights a lot. This is due to the drum mechanism. I hope this video was useful. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and keep shooting.